Now, over in the U.S., uh, three legal enforcement officers have been shot dead in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the scene of protests in the weeks since the police shooting of Alton B. Sterling on July 5th. The gunman has been identified as 29 year old Gavin Long, a discharged Marine surgeon who served in Iraq. What we don't know yet, whether the police officers were explicit targets of an ambush and the motivation behind the killing. Now, there are growing concerns that the incident will further aggravate racial tensions in that country. What we know so far and what we don't, our Kim Jong Su reports. The latest shooting in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, took place less than two weeks after a black man was shot by police there, and only 10 days after the sniper attack on July 7th that claimed the lives of five Dallas police officers. The African American gunman killed in the shootout on Sunday has been identified as 29 year old Gavin Long of Kansas City, Missouri. He was armed with an assault rifle and was wearing a mask and black fatigues. Officials say Long is believed to have been the only gunman, despite earlier reports saying two others were still at large. The shooting occurred at just before 9 a.m. local time, less than two kilometers from the Baton Rouge Police Department headquarters, where hundreds were arrested earlier this month while protesting the police shooting of Alton Sterling. Sterling's death has sharply heightened racial tensions in Baton Rouge and sparked a national debate on policing and race. While officers have yet to pinpoint Long's motive, investigators have found that he attended the demonstrations in Dallas after the shooting there. Long also made several YouTube videos where he claimed that he was not attached to any particular ideology and argued that police brutality cannot be solved in a peaceful manner. His recent post on Twitter also praised the Dallas shooter Michael Johnson and said that he was, quote, one of us. The governor of Louisiana, John Bell Edwards, said the gunman committed an unspeakable attack, adding that the hatred has got to stop. President Obama also condemned the murders, calling the attack cowardly and reprehensible. He also mentioned the upcoming party conventions, saying the presumptive nominees must work to bring the country together. And that is why it is so important that everyone right now focus on words and actions that can unite this country rather than divide it further. Obama also pledged his full support to the Baton Rouge Police Department and promised that, quote, justice will be done. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.